Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and on this channel we analyse serious classics. So today I'm going to be reacting to Jane Austen memes. Before I get into the memes, I expect that this video is going to be full of spoilers, probably for every single Jane Austen novel, except Persuasion because I don't expect that there's many memes made about that one. Uh, so if, if you haven't read Jane Austen and you don't want to be spoiled, then this might not be the video for you. Uh, yeah, what I did is I just went on Google image search and <laughs> typed in Jane Austen memes and, and here are the results. I'm going to try and add uh, links to the description box uh, for the sources for these. Uh, this is the first one, me, quarter life crisis, Jane Austen novels. Yeah. I think we can all identify with that. I mean, I'm slightly past the quarter life crisis point uh, now, but uh, I think there's something comforting about, you know, reading about 17, 18, 19 year olds who have found the perfect man, who have married into a gigantically rich family and uh, who know exactly what type of a wife and mother they want to be. Hey girl, you could have had some shelves in your closet. Happy thought indeed. <laughs> I love this one. Uh, Mr. Collins, the most meme-worthy Jane Austen character. Um, yeah, you know what? She's missing out. She could have had some shelves in her closet. Instead, she just gets this gigantic manor house. Who's the real loser here, huh? The next one's a Lydia and Wickham one. At that moment you realise you married Lydia Bennet. To be fair, she's still too good for him. <laughs> I like this one. Hey girl, I like that you have improved your mind by extensive reading. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Darcy and um, yeah, nothing sexier than a reader, am I right? Although of course, I'm pretty sure that in that scene that he says that in, uh, he's only trying to piss off Caroline Bingley. Oh, this one's sweet. This is uh, Marianne from Sense and Sensibility. I just have a lot of feelings. Yeah, that's literally her entire personality. Oh, sweet. Uh, we've got a um, we've got a surprise Pikachu meme here. Mr. Darcy literally insults Elizabeth's entire family while proposing. Elizabeth, you are the last man in the world who might could ever be prevailed upon to marry. Mr. Darcy, surprise Pikachu. <laughs> How did he think this was going to work, right? How did he think, you know what's really going to impress this lady? First of all, my massive wealth. And second of all, if I insult every single member of her immediate and extended family, that'll really pull. Uh, oh, this is a Sparknotes tweet. Uh, I do, I do enjoy the Sparknotes Twitter account. I have to say, uh, nobody, Mr. Darcy. Excuse me, I am tall. I am heterosexual. I have anxiety. I'm new in town. I mean, it worked, right? Worked on Elizabeth. Worked on all of us. Uh, oh, the next one's uh, Jane Austen herself. It's a free country. You can play violin or piano. This one's actually not historically accurate because if you're a lady like Jane Austen herself, then you would not in fact be able to pick up the violin. It wasn't really a ladylike instrument. So uh, to correct this meme, you know, from a musicologist point of view, I would say it's a free country. You can play the harp or the piano. Is that too niche? I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on to this one. No one danced with Mary, say uh, Kitty and Lydia. Mary, I will cut you. No, listen, she doesn't want to dance. She's much happier playing at the piano. She doesn't care about frivolous things such as dancing, am I right? Oh, okay, this one's a, this one's quite a visual. Your mama so rude, I'm unable to rejoice in the inferiority of your connections. Marry me. Yeah, there can never be enough jokes made about Mr. Darcy's um, catastrophic first proposal. Truly, how not to talk to a woman 101. <laughs> Darcy trying to figure out where his proposal went wrong. Yeah, I wonder why. Um, you are so beneath me, hashtag marry me. It just didn't work. It's a mystery. <laughs> to the Mr. Collins wave. <laughs> okay. I actually love this bit because this is where uh, Mr. Collins is trying to show off to Lizzie how happy he is being married to Charlotte Lucas and they're in his garden and he's just telling her about how happy he is. Uh, and then he just turns around and goes, <laughs> and Charlotte just looks at him like, 
Oh my god. Um, okay, this is a ferret or, or a weasel of some sort, and it just says, Oh, Mr. Bennett, you have no compassion for my poor nerves. Uh, which has to be read in the voice of Mrs. Bennett from the 1995 BBC version. <laughs> I love this. This is adorable. Um, oh, okay. We've got another Mr. Darcy meme. I, I feel like most of them so far have been Mr. Darcy or Mr. Collins. Hey girl, I have been meditating on the very great pleasure which a pair of fine eyes and the face of a pretty woman can bestow. Now that is how you get the ladies. Okay, here we go again with Mr. Collins. Marry me. No thanks. And I won't change my mind. Challenge accepted. This is hashtag not all men, but actually quite a lot of them who, um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try not to derail this video into a rant about rape culture, but this is exactly what makes women afraid to turn down men. The next one uh, is, oh, is Mary. Mary, always the one wearing glasses. Um, I guess it's, it's the age old trope of glasses make you nerdy. In my case, it's true. She says, in order to maximize reading time, I listen to audiobooks while I sleep. <laughs> yeah, this is totally what Mary Bennett would do if she lived in 2020. Listen to audiobooks while she sleeps as if she's going to actually remember anything about them. Uh, just, you know, to look more well read. Maybe I should try that. I could keep up with the other booktubers then. Oh, yes, I'm loving the Mr. Collins shelves memes. Hey girl, I got shelves. Oh, <laughs> dear diary, I lied. She's totally handsome enough to tempt me. Um, yeah, yeah, she's a uh, Jennifer Ely is is quite the looker. <laughs> Mr. Darcy's face on his wedding day, happiest day of my life. It's kind of mean that they're zoning in on his face because Lizzie Bennet doesn't look much more happy in this picture either. And then we get another Jane Austen one. Sometimes a pianoforte is just a pianoforte. I wonder if this is a quote from her, uh, maybe from one of her letters or something else, because I don't quite get the joke. Like, is this saying that the pianoforte doesn't have a function in the novels, which isn't true, and later this month you will see my analysis on the role of the pianoforte in Pride and Prejudice. So I disagree with this one, and I should probably stop overanalyzing musical memes. <laughs> this is the first Emma meme, right? Um, I'd give up my manor for a wood house. Yeah, this is a terrible pun. Uh, plus he doesn't really give up his manor. What he does is temporarily move in with her parents. Big deal. <laughs> Mrs. Bennet, I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Wink. The winking's from the scene when she's trying to get Elizabeth's sisters out of the room so that Mr. Collins can propose to Lizzie. And Lizzie's like, no, no, don't leave me. Please don't leave me. And Mrs. Bennet's like, isn't there something we need to do upstairs, Kitty? And Kitty's like, why are you winking at me? Yeah, this is hilarious, both in the book and in the adaptations. Um... <laughs> This one's slightly adult. Um, Jesus, Bingley, I can see your balls. Uh, oh, oh, that's uh, that's Mr. Darcy's. Okay, yeah. I mean, they're not any like these trousers are not any less flattering than modern day yoga pants, right? Oh, hello, Mr. Edward Ferrers. Um, he doesn't even have his own barouche. That's the least of my problems with this character. I'm not a fan of him as a romantic hero, but the fact that he doesn't drive a car, I couldn't really care less about. Oh, okay. It seems to be a, a, like an onion headline or something. Woman relieved soulmate turned out to be in same socioeconomic bracket with a picture of Emma and Mr. Knightley. Yeah, she's like, throughout the whole book, uh, y you know, there's like people getting paired off together and uh, there's like one very rich lady and one very rich gentleman. And it's just a complete riddle about who's going to get together there. Okay, uh, we've, we, we started with the Emma memes, apparently. Uh, this is Harriet Smith. <laughs> says, Girl I've just met said I should break up with my boyfriend. She must be right. 
yes, Harriet, not the most mature in her decision-making process. Very gullible, very naive, very trusting in the wrong people. <laughs> hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but time alone does not determine intimacy, so here's a lock of my hair. I don't know, I feel like the lock of hair is, I guess, the 19th century equivalent of making it Facebook official. Yeah, so this is uh, Marianne and Wickham. Wickham? The other guy. What's his name? Marianne and... It, it was some sort of sexy name. Next! Uh, okay, this is my personal fave from Sense and Sensibility, Colonel Brandon. Uh, obviously his, his role made all the more better by the wonderful Alan Rickman in the adaptation. And this says, repeatedly spurned by Marianne, still hopes she's feeling well. Oh, he's such a sweetie. W why is this a thing? This is awful. This is, we're Mr. Darcy. That's an impressive cucumber. It could be yours with a picture of a cat in a bonnet and a cat sitting <laughs> I was 16 years old when you were born. Uh, I'm not familiar with this adaptation, but I'm assuming this is Mr. Knightley and Emma, the most uncomfortable of all age gaps in uh, Jane Austen, I would say. Oh, sweet. I'm happy you got one of those in there. Harriet, Robert Martin, anyone Emma tells her to like. Yeah, poor Robert Martin. He's one of the most hard done uh, characters in, in any of the Jane Austen novels. I mean, he gets the girl at the end, but by that time, does he even want the girl if she is, uh, you know, swayed by uh, Emma just telling her that she's in love with various people? <laughs> Marrying a first cousin? Fanny Price looking very nicely indeed. Yeah, again, another kind of uncomfortable um, relationship to our modern day 21st century eyes. Of course, first cousin marriages, you know, while uncommon, weren't that weird back in the day, but I still found that pairing a bit, a bit off. I love this one. Ruin a first date in four words. She's tolerable, I suppose. Of course, in the book, he says she is tolerable, I suppose, which makes us five words, which makes us mean not quite work, but still a good joke. Roses are red, violets are blue. I find you tolerable. <laughs> Yeah, he really needs to work on his compliments. A truth universally acknowledged. You either love Colin Firth as Mr. Darcy or you're wrong. I think we all know where I stand. Uh, <laughs> that old classic. LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Tinder. <laughs> Tinder is the wet shirt picture. I'd swipe. Is it swipe left or swipe right where you're like, yes, please. Yeah, uh, that was all of them, so... <laughs> There is a surprising number of Jane Austen memes out there. Most of them seem to be about Mr. Collins, Mr. Darcy, or dating strategies of Jane Austen characters in general. I was right that there wasn't a single persuasion meme out there. This is it for now. Um, keep watching this channel for some more serious and also some more silly Jane Austen related content this month. Thank you for watching. Bye!